Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I'm here once again with my friend Stephanie Schapp from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. Now, this is a Monday mystery teaser. We're going like, I'm only going to be asking Stephanie a few questions because later on this morning at 10 o'clock Eastern time, Stephanie and I are going to be back on with Shante and Mornay from Aquarius Rising Africa to do a deep dive and discuss Isis and Osiris, a big topic as of late on both of our channels. And I fully understand that the church... Um, has done a really good job of scaring people about the story of Isis and Osiris. So that is a really important reason why we need to talk about this. So we're going to start with the state of Tennessee, right above me, the state right above me. That's where my dad's dad was from. The, the granddad that keeps coming through in some channelings, Ed Watson, the man who was six foot five, ginormous man who apparently butts in on Stephanie's channeling too to deliver messages. So, so, and apparently one of the locations in this read today is where he is, was actually from where his hometown was. So how are you doing today, Stephanie? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little tired and sleep well, but I'm doing okay. I'm good. Sure. Good. Great. Wonderful. It's all good. I'm so convincing, aren't I? I just need a good week of sleep. That's what I need. <laughs> I need a little vacation. That's all. Well, I've adjusted my schedule to, uh, well, you already know. I adjusted my schedule to wake up at the butt-ass crack of dawn just like you, and it's all your fault. <laughs> She's doing Brahma Morta too, guys. She's doing Brahma Morta too. Yeah, it's an adjustment, so I'm a little, like, wonky this week. Yeah. yeah. You'll get my whole legs. entire schedule is just, like, but don't you feel amazing when it's like, yes, you get yeah. your, your, your exercise and your practice done so early. Well, in the morning? You know what I would do? So before I, when I was working out, I'd wake up, I'd have my coffee, then I'd have to pee like a thousand times. Cause you know, coffee makes you pee. Not that anybody really needs to know that. I know that's TMI, but everybody you knows know, Bryce, me. you put a lot of TMI out there. So I got to join in the club and I would sit there and I go, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to go work out now. No, no, I'm going to, I'm going to work out another hour. And then I would wait and then I'd be working out either way too late in the day and I just procrastinate on it. And, you know, it doesn't feel that great when you work out, <coughs> you know, later in the day. Um, with this, I just get up, take the dogs out. They're actually my alarm clock because that's the time they woke up anyways. And I don't really think about it because I'm still kind of a little groggy, get my workout clothes and I just do it. And then it's done and over with. And now I can just yeah. go about my day and then I don't have to worry. Yeah, you're done and you feel relaxed and good and your ego isn't involved yet. That's in the beautiful time about, about Roma Morta is that the ego is not really involved. So, you know. All right. Well, let's talk about Tennessee. So, Stephanie, can we first yeah. verify with the cards? We know that Isis, I-S-I-S, -S, is the name of the goddess. However, that's her Greek name, not her original Egyptian name. Her original Egyptian name is apparently pronounced Aset, but it's spelled Asi, E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Can we verify with the cards as E-S-S-E? -S -S -E? E-S-S-E -S -S -E spelling, is that Isis's real name? There's a reason why I'm asking this, guys. should have gotten out my Egyptian deck for this, but I don't read it very well, so maybe the next show we do on this, I will. And just have a spear set of cards if I suck at reading that deck, because it is kind of a difficult deck to read. Um, <coughs> all right. Is this Isis's real name? S.C. I feel like so. I'm not getting a definitive yes or no. Um, she was a high priestess. So I'm literally getting a high priestess card here. Um, also, too, this could be that that's her hidden name. It's not her most well-known name. Um, it seems that they did um, take it and put it somewhere else because this is a card of movement or travel. Somebody was paid off to do it. Um, it looks like, so we have the two of pentacles. So it's like you're given a choice what to call her. That's kind of what I'm looking at it right here. Um, there's something karmic about it. Does that make sense in your research? Yep, kind of where I'm going with it. You mean I'm right? 
Yeah. So. I love when I get confirmation. Sometimes I'm like, am I going too far with this? Does this make any sense? And then someone will get, be like, yes, yes, that's what, yeah. Totally makes okay. sense. So this is why I brought this up because Tennessee is spelled T-E-N-N. S E S E yeah a C. So this is um, originally spellis, spelled is T E N N E D apostrophe E S S E, which means which translates to the country of Isis. Tennessee, the state of Tennessee, means the country of Isis. Tennessee is the state above me again. It's all the uh, on the older maps we're finding of the Americas. It's considered part of Egypt where Memphis, Tennessee is on the western side of Tennessee by the Mississippi, which we got in one show was actually the Nile. So can we just verify with the cards? Is Tennessee the country of ISIS? I also might have a quick little... Question after this that is personal but doesn't go into too much detail. Because I'm getting major goosebumps with this. Yeah. Yeah. And if my granddaddy, Ed Watson, who's been popping up and hanging around, wants to pitch in with any information because this is your hometown. I know you were a devout Christian in life, but on the other side of the veil, I know things all of a sudden... There's truth, so he can come in if he wants. <clears throat> I feel like the star card is like um, dang it, how do hold on, let me clarify the star card. Sorry. I'm like losing my noggin here. I mean, it's kind of like once you see it, you can't unsee it with this stuff. I'm almost getting an Atlantean Egyptian feeling from this. Well, okay. the Egyptians were the, uh, were, were the offshoots of the Atlanteans. It's almost like, I'm looking at that, it's almost like the eye. Of Horus? Yeah. Okay. We know that Egypt was almost like a melting pot of all of the races, the gal galactic races. It was a hub of two aces popped out secrets then they twisted it this is also too uh, a place of unity um but there's truth in this there's truth in this let me just pull a couple more cards and see what i got yeah so what we know is the egyptian culture that we see from on the flip of this the flip side of the fall of atlantis what was, was what was left over from the atlantean fates so that might be why it's mixed in with the Atlantis feeling is because that was what kind of came through the apocalypse. That's my past lives card. I know we got past lives in Egypt, so I'm almost thinking that would indicate, yeah. And actually, there's a lot of celebration coming in the future with this. <coughs> I mean, uh, the energy is heading toward a yes. Yeah, and so is a lot of the archaeological evidence, which, which let's get into now. So, Stephanie, you've talked on the channel before about an ISIS temple being in the Grand Canyon. Well, thanks yeah. to our friend Ava and Bonnie, we now know that there is a, potentially an ISIS temple in Tennessee at the Norris Dam State Park. another freaking download. Sorry, I'm going to have to talk off camera about what the downloads I'm getting. Sorry. Okay. I'm li like, I'm getting, like, my whole body is, like... I need to get my composure because I almost started to cry. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Which this tells me I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm overturned. This hit me hard when I found this information. So the Norris Dam State Park is right outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, which is where my grandfather was from, Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, can we first verify with the cards? Is there indeed an ISIS temple near the Norris Dam State Park? So obviously the state stepped in and took control of this archaeological evidence but so let's verify yep 
Yep. Yep. And someone was paid off. Um, <coughs> and stole like sneaky behavior, setbacks, disappointments. So, yeah. So they're trying to say that a lot of this archaeological evidence is actually Cherokee remains. So I feel like that's huge deception. It's, it's ISIS. It's an ISIS temple. So are they trying, are the controllers trying to convince us? Yeah, they're trying to convince us that it belongs to another culture than the culture that it actually belongs to. Well, the Cherokee Indians, I did a little bit of a deep dive a couple of years ago on the Cherokee Indians. I had heard a rumor that they are actually the real Hebrew, but like, like godly, like that the Jews are actually not Jews, which we know now. Well, I'm not talking about regular everyday Jews. We're talking like about Christians. the banking family. Guys, I'm talking about the banking family. Yeah. 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 Um, and that the Cherokee tribe actually has close, close, close ties to the Christ lineage. So are the Cherokees um, descendants of Christmas one of the descendants? Because yeah. um, I'm going to ask that about my grandfather too in a minute. They are one of the, they're, they're a tribe that's monotheistic. Not every tribe is monotheistic. This particular tribe is monotheistic, which is interesting to me. Well, I grew up around, that's my area, is all Cherokee. I mean, the county next so to me is Cherokee Cherokee part a lineage of priestesses of Isis, one of them. I feel like they're waiting for the truth to come out. The Cherokee might not necessarily be full human. Were which there I know blue-eyed people in the Cherokee tribes, too? I don't know. I mean, I do know that a lot of them are black hair, brown eyes. Yeah, but but I, even my friend Tiffany, who is African American, she talks about that some of these tribes weren't what we think of. So the reason why I ask this because we know that with the incubator babies, that humans were repopulated not that long ago. So my grandfather, the Watsons, it's interesting because the other day you got something in my dad's line. That was that was related to royalty because my mom's family is related to the English royal family through my mom's father. But I said no, my dad is my are the Watsons a descendant of the ISIS, and they're blonde hair, blue eyed. Is that why he was in Knoxville? Why is that why he grew up in Knoxville? He was very upset that none of us, none of his grandchildren went to the University of Tennessee. My cards are really not making any sense for the question. Are we, are we not supposed to know that yet? Is that just too much information? It could be that. Um, because honestly, like there's some, well, you know, by, by pulling cards, sometimes literally the spread actually makes no freaking sense at all. And I'm so nothing is nothing is that. ringing. Nothing is we ringing. We know, and the reason why I ask this, guys, is again because both sides of my family are blonde hair, blue eyed. Both sides of them, um, and I keep trying to reiterate this because we have this idea of certain cultures carrying certain genetic features, but what we're learning is that's not necessarily true. And especially with Egyptian cultures, there was blonde people, red headed people, there were blue skinned people. You know, if you look at all the paintings. And so um, that's why I wanted to bring that up is because the Cherokee also, if you look back at pictures of the Cherokee, there are a lot of <laughs> European looking Cherokees. So, and they of course say, oh, intermarrying, all that kind of stuff. Well, I call bullshit on that now because now, now we know about Tartaria. So anyway, all right. So now here's an interesting um, question I'm going to ask the cards. The Egypt that we know is Egypt over on the top, the north end of the Africa continent. A lot of mummies that have been uncovered in that Egypt have the residue of a certain drug. I don't know if I can say this on um, YouTube or not, but it's a white powder that you snort up your nose. Okay. You know, like the drink, co the Coca-Cola drink? Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. Okay. So that is found here in the Americas. Not really anywhere else, especially for that time. Why did those mummies have that particular drug residue on their faces? If there was none of that drug in, in the, were they moved is what I'm asking. Were they moved? Were the bodies moved to the Africa location from the Americas? Anyone? 
And is that why they have residue of a drug that was used? The thing about this particular drug, if it's done properly without anything cut in it, it can help with health lymphatic system. Yes. One place to the other. All right. So um, there's also in some of the uh, walls of the tombs from the 18th century dynasty in the African Egypt, not the America Egypt, but the Africa Egypt, there are North American paintings of corn on the wall where those tombs also picked up and moved. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So nothing along with probably really other place. stuff too. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is like anything that was a good was picked up, put somewhere else. It's like it was surrendered, like somebody had to surrender something. Maybe families had to surrender their loved ones burial grounds or something if they were still alive, if they survived. Um yeah. Now I sent you an Ava picture, um, which I'll place in the editing process on this uh video. And let me see if I can read it to you guys. Let's see here. <coughs> picture Sorry. of them building the Sphinx. It says they build their own NWO history. That's why they call themselves Freemasons. Is the Sphinx in Egypt and a lot of the Egyptian uh, pyramids that we see, were they built by the controllers recently? as in the last couple hundred years? No, they were stolen. They were moved. Absolutely, they were stolen and moved from one place to the other. For people that are not understanding how that can happen, I believe the pyramids are actually UFO portals. ships or portals or um, in with sound and frequency, you can move just about anything because weight doesn't matter. Think of Star Wars. What does Yoda say to Luke while he's trying to lift up his X-Wing out of the water and Empire Strikes Back? Sorry, I had to make a reference to Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars, so. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to change that. I'm not really a sci-fi person. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It's not but really sci-fi. I would do it for educational purposes. Yeah, and um, your jaw, your jaw will drop. Your jaw will drop. Well, we it's know it. through we know through yoga anyway, the practice of yoga that um, that weight can be changed by consciousness, by the thought mm -hmm. process. That weight isn't weight isn't you know the whole idea of like the human body or anything of matter is that it's these moving molecules. If you can learn to slow them down or pull them together, you can actually change consciousness. So, um, were the pyramids in Egypt? originally in the southeastern part of the United States. These deep dives just get funner and funner. And yeah, I'm making funner a word. I have no aces or the sun card, but I'm going to say yes on this because I get the hangs man card. Like that's where it originally was from. Um, and then we have the four of pentacles, which is like clinging on, hanging on or letting go. But I'm getting like, that's where it was placed originally rooted. And then two movement cards. Again, we have the two of pentacles, which is one place to the other, different place of the world on in secret justices coming though and yeah they've used some sort of alchemy of some kind to move on. transport it yeah absolutely gosh all right so that's some some information on tennessee guys hopefully one day we'll be able to actually go to this place and look at it um let's talk about isis and osiris so we're told that isis and osiris were brother and sister and that they were lovers that. huh i don't believe they were i don't either so I believe that's that's what the controllers change their story to make it gross, but that's also what they do. They do the brother and sister well, that's stuff. That's why I was like, no, yeah. because they do that stuff. And when we see pictures of them, they don't look alike. They're like different races. One is 
of darker skin and one is of lighter skin. Isis was lighter than Osiris. I mean, riddle me that. Like, I remember when my nephew was really little. I was in the car with him. There, well, yeah, I, I was in the car with with him one day, and he looked at me. He goes, "Hey, you look a lot like my mommy." And I was like, "Yeah, there's a reason for that. We're we're siblings. Siblings typically look alike. Like when you have the same parents, you typically carry. So that's why it's not good to like in inbreed with your siblings. You know, right? Or your well, you might get a couple extra limbs. Yeah, or your cousins. Your face matter. might be on the back of your head." So were they, so instead of brother and sister, is this a way of, of them telling us they were twin flames? They were the same soul. Yeah. Yeah. Twin they were twin flames. Flames. They twin weren't flame flames. card. And then they snuck up and changed it discreetly. Even moved where the story took place. And... They paid money to do it. They all, they all, it's all about money. It's all about fortune and, and ripping people off. And yeah. All anyway. right. One more question for this episode. And then join us on Aquarius Rising Africa a little later this morning, guys, to go even deeper. Let's and talk then I about, do have my one question too. Okay. Let's talk about Osiris's obelisk for a hot second here. Yep. We have been told that that is Osiris's penis. I have discovered information that it's not. I have found information that it is actually representation of the spine or Shashumna, the nadi mm -hmm. that runs up the spine, which is the awakening of the Christ consciousness, which is what it seems to me that Isis and Osiris and Hathor and these, this priestesshood and priesthood taught, which is what Magdalene and Yahshua taught as well. The awakening of the Christ conscious. Can the cards verify are the obelisk, the spine, is it representation? Is it rep not necessarily the spine, but the the energetic portal that runs up the spine? In yoga, we call it shashumna. Is that a representation of the uh, pathway of Christ consciousness, the arising of Kundalini? And that would be easy to manipulate too, because that they call it the Jacob's ladder. Yeah. So what the Masons took and inverted, it was actually something completely different it had nothing to do with a phallic symbol let me pull a couple more cards now for the dark side there is a way now there is the tantric way of kundalini rising with two consenting people that does involve intimacy but for the dark side they do it a different way with the phallic and a set dark sex magic but for this this is the positive aspect of christ consciousness rising up the spine for an individual in a positive way. Not giving me an answer, but I can tell you it is of the highest good. So it is of God. It's not of the devil. They did invert it. These people inverted it, covens or Freemasons, whatever you want to call them. And I feel like they inverted it when the population was at a bare minimum so that they could get away with changing things. And then they, I mean, this could be energy flow too, because this is movement. And then this is movement. That could be the energy flow going up to Shashuna. Mm -hmm. Is it Shashuna or Shashumna? Shashumna. Shashumna. Okay. Um, so I need to okay. brush up on my Sanskrit. So one more question before we get to yours. Are there truthers out there that know the truth about the obelisk, but they're selling the story that the controller sold us to try to convince the fundamentalist to stay on the negative timeline, meaning truthers who are actually evil, who actually work for the, are there truthers who work for the controllers who are being paid right now to convince people that these obelisks are bad especially the fundamentalist crowd to pull the energy on the negative timeline by emotion. I know the answer to that, but let's see what we got. I do too, but I just want to put this out there because you have to do your own effing research, guys. You cannot take people's words for it, not even our words for it. You need this information is easy to find. Oh yeah. Two cards. There we go. And things blocking. Be careful who you're following guys. Be careful who you're do following. That. 
Now, my question is, I had a dream 20 years ago. I'm not going to go into too, many, too much detail. When I first started to awaken in my spiritual awakening, I was actually awakened bef before, my, before I learned about the agendas. This was in 2020. This was the first part of my awakening before I figured out about the underground stuff and all that and all the lies and deception. This was when I was still in the church crowd, thought it was doomsday. I was awakened by a very loud voice in my garden, and I was brought to, my mind was brought to a dream I had 20 years ago. And this dream took place in a mountain range, and I looked up all sorts of mountain ranges on Google, and the only mountain range it, it showed identical to, because I remember this dream like I had it last night, and it was the Appalachian Mountains that was part in Tennessee. The Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains. Can we ask, can you ask the cards too, if I was having a past life memory in that dream? Or is it a vision? Oh, I think it's both. We can ask, we can really quickly ask as well if that was also a vision. Because there are certain things in that dream that actually have happened already. They all haven't happened yet, but some of them have. So I think, yes, it did happen. And I think it happened. So I have the King of Wands here, the Lion in the background here with the Judgment card. And then I have the Wheel card. So I think something shifted after yep. your vision and like maybe it was the Ball of Atlantis or something from the past, the past life memory. Because then we have the Five of Cups coming to the Two of Swords where you're blindfolded. Look at all those dark. That's cups. this life birds yeah the ravens here all right even spell casted those birds help spell casting you know you know these these symbols they tell us sorry they all tell us who they are birds are part of spell casting guys look it up um by the hair font which is aspected badly here so a high spiritual uh leader of the negative which i know who yep <laughs> but because you figured this out Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. The tower is coming. Yeah, because Queen of Pentacles is on the bottom here. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. What is it? Ava says got to do what she got to do to get done what she's got to get done. So, Ava, we love you, girl. <laughs> she always says when things are just yuck, she says everything is crunchy. I love it. <laughs> now I use it. Like, that is a brilliant word to use. So, I got a yes. Um, and it's like we got that lion card <coughs> there was a battle there was a battle off in the distance until the shift happened I'm not going to go into details on what that is and I was a spiritual leader on a mountain um, this is it's not aspected well but I know my dream so yeah Hierophant can be either positive or negative it and I mean tarot card reading I'm like trying to guide people through my readings or I have my groups and everything like that. And I don't like to normally bring it into personal stuff. But I just wanted to know, because when we were talking about Tennessee, I started to get bombarded with all these downloads about that dream. And it took me a long ass time to figure out what mountain range it was. I knew it existed. There was also a cave in this dream. And I found the cave. I found the exact cave. I have pictures of it saved Somewhere on my phone, somewhere. Yeah, um, Appalachia. Yeah. I mean, Appalachia. I'm at the base of Appalachia. And it's, you know, it's magical. It's the oldest mountain range in the world, the Appalachian Mountains. So um, you may ask if this is going to be repeating itself. Go for it. Is this karmically going to be repeating itself? Is Stephanie's dream involving the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, probably, if I had to guess, near where the ice is simple is, because when you go more west towards Memphis, it starts becoming more flat because um, you're getting into the plains. So I'm not, I'm going to, I'm assuming. I know where the ISIS temple is located. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly where it's located. I found it on the map. It's right outside Knoxville, where my granddad's from, which is on Eastern Tennessee, Eastern Tennessee side. Um, all right. Is this going to happen in this life? Ooh, a lot of wands here. Yeah, I think so. And it's going to be a different outcome. Something that's been cultivated and worked on. Yeah. 
because we've got the Knight of Wands is the overall feeling. Then we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. And then, so you're, you're, maybe we're working on this, but you didn't even know it. Cause then all of a sudden. Oh, that dream has never left. It's never left. It, it, there's certain dreams I will always remember, but that one, I don't even have to write it down. And when I woke up, I knew I was in my mid thirties in that dream. I'm 35 now. I was 15 when I had it, but I intuitively knew I was in my mid thirties and I knew it was the end of the world. Well, that we know it. I didn't realize it was a past life and a premonition. I knew it was a premonition. I didn't realize it was also past life stuff too. Yeah. I mean that, that ends. So those are like, these yeah. kind of connected well together. Cause you're like, you know, this, this can mean like new ideas, good stuff, working hard at something, but then you've got this like weary traveler, like all of a sudden shit gets weary. So it's hard to carry. But then on the next yeah. one, yeah. no, no shit, Sherlock. We got the 10 of Pentacles with the hermit card to the page of swords. So I think it's going to, it's going to be, you know, you had, you kind of started remembering, you had to go into some solitude inside yourself. And I think it's going to reignite itself again. I loved my solitude. I can't be near a lot of people anymore. <laughs> I mean, change is coming. Yeah. Change is coming. This is, this is fascinating. It's like, everything is so timely, like designed by creator. And like, so when people are like, well, why don't I know who I am? Because it's like a, it's like the disclosure. It comes in a trickle. Like it's yeah. not just a flood of information. I think a romantic offer is going to be associated with this. Well, yeah, that was in the dream too. Oh, same yeah. thing. <laughs> One of those dreams. <laughs> those are fun dreams. Well, I didn't go into detail. Look, I'm turning all red. <laughs> those are fun dreams. <laughs> Anyway, all right, guys. So I'm going to cut it off there today. Just a short little episode. And once again, we're going to go into way more detail over on Aquarius Rising Africa at 10 a.m. this morning. Please hop over there and join us. If you would like to tip Stephanie, her Venmo will be down in the description box below, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.